Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kathy with Kathy's Crafty Creations and DIYs. I am tickled pink that you're here today. Today, I'm going to be announcing the winner for the $40 Amazon gift card giveaway. Also, we have some lovely farmhouse DIYs that we'll be going over. And for you guys that have never been to my channel before, I want to say welcome. I'm super excited that you're here. I hope that you will consider subscribing and becoming a part of our little family. We love each other. We have a lot of fun, a lot of DIYs, tons of laughter. We even pray for each other on this channel. So guys, if that's something that you're interested in, hit that subscribe button. But for right now, let's jump into these DIYs because we got a lot to cover today. Welcome everybody for my first DIY. I'm going to make a beautiful wall decor out of this amazing Grace place map. I got this at the Dollar General for $1. I have an 11 by 17 canvas. It's just the hard piece of canvas uh, from the Dollar Tree. And I have four of the five gallon paint stir sticks. I'm going to take the Elephant Waverly Chalk Paint, the dark gray color, put a little bit in a cup and a little bit of water to create a stain. I took the stir sticks out to my shed and cut the end of them off, the end that has the, the little, you know, handle part on it. And so I just literally coat each paint stick with the stain and then immediately I wipe it back off with a paper towel. I hope everyone has had a good week so far. I've had a pretty busy week. We've been working on my craft room. We've got the ceiling and the walls done. We've got the paint on. We got the floor down. So we've been super busy. I'm going to show you some pictures at the end of this or actually a little video so you can see. I laid my uh, stir sticks down and I laid them down on the side that has the numbers on them so I can mark where I need to cut them. I cut those off with my table saw and then I just sanded down the edges of them so they wouldn't have any rough edges. And I placed them the way that I want them to go on top of my place map. I'm going to use this new glue gun that they sent me. Guys, if y'all are interested in this glue gun, it's really good. I've got like a, I think it's a 10% off coupon. I'll leave it in the description box below. It's Monvict brand. It's a super glue gun and you can unplug the end of it as you see here and use it you know without a cord attached to it which i really like and it's a big heavy duty glue gun which means you know it puts out a lot of glue uh so i also have one that i use you know like a small tip glue gun that's my little sure bonder but i do like this one for bigger projects so anyways, I just put my stir sticks down with the numbers facing down, of course, because you don't want to see those. I flip it over and I take that 11 by 14 canvas. And like I said, it's a hard canvas that the Dollar Tree sells. And I just popped it right down in the middle to give it some good stability. Do y'all remember those little half beads that I'm in love with? Yeah, I got me four of those and I painted them just using a baby wipe. I wiped it on with the baby wipe and then I wiped it right back off. I used Steel Color by Waverly. And in the places where it didn't get enough paint, I used this little paint brush from the Dollar Tree. I wanted to make sure to use a different gray color than what I did on the stir sticks. The stir sticks were elephant. This is gray, the steel gray. And there is my tiny glue gun I was talking about. And I use it for like if I just need a dab of glue. So I put my little half beads, one on each of the four corners. And these little half beads are excellent to add for an embellishment to anything. On the back, I flipped it over, put some jute cord, a little bit of masking tape and taped that down, glued it down. I got my solo wood flowers here and I popped one on the side, and this is beautiful. I'm going to leave the link for that glue gun and these Sola Wood flowers in the description box below because I have coupons for both of them. And to me, this Sola Wood flower is just perfect with this color that I did of the stain. It just looks so rustic and country, and this is beautiful. 
You'd never think it was a $1 placemat. <laughs> If you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button, and there's a little bell beside it you can hit, and that way you can see all my videos. In DIY number two, we're going to make a 20 by 20 wall decor. I purchased a one by six board at Lowe's, and we wanted to make the ends where it comes together like slanted, and that's what I'm doing right here is cutting the slants in my wood. Also, it was a little bit wider than what we needed, so we had to shave it right down the middle, and we cut it into four pieces. I did use small brad nails to put it together and wood glue. So here's what it looks like when it's all together, and we're going to paint it with Waverly Chiffon Cream, which is probably one of my favorite colors. The white is just too white for me sometimes, but the cream is perfect. All I'm going to do is put one coat on everything really good. I didn't put two coats because I want it to be distressed, and I'm going to sand it down a little bit so that you can actually see just little tidbits of the natural wood coming through. I made sure I got in all those corners. Now, this is the little 8x10 picture that goes in the middle. It's just a frame that I had purchased at a thrift store, and it actually came from the photo studio Olin Mills. So once I got this painted and it dried, I sanded it down a little bit, and I took my mineral chalk paint, and I'm going to distress it After I distressed it, I went back over it with my little sanding sponge to sand it and blend it in a little bit better. And I have this Dremel, and it's got a little cutting tool on it. So I used that to cut these dowels. And I got these two long dowels from Walmart. They are a five eighths of an inch. They're only like 60 cents a piece. And I think that's a super good deal. So I took the end of that because it made it kind of a rough cut, and I sanded it down with my sponge, and I made an X formation with these two dowels. I did not cut the dowels in half in the middle or cut one of them in half because I didn't need to. I just laid them right on top of each other. And this is actually a calendar from the Dollar Tree. It's called Blessings Bloom, and I took a picture from the middle of that and I'm just using my hot glue gun to make my X on my little dowel. And I'm also using my Gorilla Wood Glue. And I put that down. And once it was totally dry and stuck on there, I took my Waverly Antique Wax and I antiqued everything really well. I don't know if you guys have heard of Olin Mills, but they were a huge photographer here in the South. And probably five to ten years ago, they closed down. And I went to the thrift store and found some of their frames there for 99 cents a piece. Some of them were even as big as 16 by 20 frames for 99 cents a piece. And their frames are gorgeous. I also have four of those small little half beads. I use these a lot. I'm going to put them in the description box below in case anybody wants any. And I put a little bit of the antique wax on them. And I'm going to put one in each corner. For some reason, I love the way this looks. I think it's gorgeous. And it just brings a piece up a little bit and makes it a little bit more high-end looking. So let me know in the comments below what you guys think about these first two DIYs. I'm really proud of them. I think they're beautiful. Each and every comment that I get from you guys, I read. And I always make sure that I try to answer you back as soon as possible. I'm so thankful for each and every one of y'all. And as always, if you have anything that you want to put in the comments or my email or my snail mail, if you have anything that you do want me to pray for, I will pray. I'm a praying woman, and I believe in the power of prayer. So guys, don't be shy. I've seen a lot of prayers answered through this channel.
Take a step into the river Get down on your knees Come to the mountain While taking in the view You will find the life is Greater than you knew When you go through the storm I will hold you, keep you warm When you stay in the night I will shelter, I will fight I will fight Oh You're broken and you're shattered Point of no return You pick up the pieces And you let the bridges burn So come to the water You're sailing with the breeze Take a step into the river Where you will find peace Where you go through the storm Our next DIY is going to be this gorgeous picture of a chicken. Very farmhouse chic. I have this little wooden chicken that I got from Walmart. And then I have a wire garbage basket from the Dollar Tree. And this is another one of those frames from Olin Mills. This is a round one. It also was only 99 cents. So I'm going to take everything and I, first I'm going to paint my frame. I'm going to use my black chalkboard paint that comes from the Dollar General. It's my favorite black paint and I give it just one good coat. I love this paint because it's very matte and it usually only needs one coat on anything that you put it on. It's beautiful. Take a step into the river and get down on your knees. I take the little piece of the wire garbage basket from Dollar Tree and see how much I need. And these are super easy to cut with scissors, by the way, but use old scissors or you will mess them up. So I just needed a small piece. I cut it off there and then I took my automatic stapler and just put a couple staples in there to hold it still. And I don't know why I don't have it on camera, but after I put the back on, I also cut that wire so that it will be, you know, not just like a big blobby square in the back. And this is what it looks like from the front. And I take the backing, the back of the picture frame here. I put my glue on it and I put it down on the back of that garbage basket. And this is where I cut it off. And like I said, I don't know why I did not put that on film, but I did do it. And I put my little chicken on the front with just hot glue. And this is gorgeous. And it's done. Later it comes later, dear. For many of us. This can be hung up on the wall or used as a beautiful shelf sitter. Look at that beautiful black matte color. I love the chalkboard paint from Dollar General. It's gorgeous. Our 
Are you guys ready to find out who the winner is for that $40 Amazon gift card giveaway? It's Nancy Ferreira, and I've probably just butchered your name, Nancy, but just get with me in the comments or my email. You got two days to get to me, and after that, I'll have to go to somebody else if I don't hear from you. But in my next video, I'm going to be giving away this bling wrap from Totally Dazzled and also a $25 gift card from Totally Dazzled. So don't feel bad if you didn't win. And guys, come to my Facebook page. Look at this gorgeous post that Melissa Roberts Barrow, and I probably just butchered your name, put on my Facebook. This is so sweet. She knows I love pugs, so she does some crafting too. And guys, this is something that I've been wanting to talk to y'all for a while about. Listen, if you craft, put your stuff on my page so we can all see it. I want my channel to be a place in a community where we can all come and share our stuff. It's not just for me. So go to Facebook and put your crafts on there. And this cracks me up because her one dog has its hand on the other one's bottom like, Guys, don't be jealous. This is all mine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're so funny. Yeah. And in other news, why did the chicken cross the road? She crossed the road to come to my page. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Come on, guys. I told you we have tons of laughter. We're in our last DIY, and I hate it. I got this beautiful flower pot, I guess you could call it. It's from a thrift store. I'm going to use my Rust-Oleum Chiffon Cream, and I'm going to give it one good coat. Now, it had some rust on the front of it, but I want that rust to come back through a little bit. So, that's why I'm giving it one coat. I distressed this with a little bit of my Waverly Antique Wax because I wanted it to have that old aged look. And I pretty much just rubbed it on with a baby wipe and then rubbed it right back off. And I sanded it down just a little bit with my sanding sponge. I really hit it hard with that antique wax right there in the front where the rust was because I wanted it to still come through a little bit. Okay, so I've got my mineral chalk paint by Waverly. And I'm going to put a stencil on this. I got these stencils off of Amazon, and I'll link them in the box below. And I just put a couple all over the front of it. And when I do stencils, I like to just use those little cheap makeup sponges from the Dollar Tree. I think they do a super good job. I also distressed it a little bit with my mineral chalk paint. And just to age that and distress it down a little bit, I use my sanding sponge once again. I got out my bling wrap from Totally Dazzled. And by the way, this is the big roll that I'll be giving away in my next video. So I wanted to put a little bit of this on there. And I cut off like three, I went counted down three strands. And I made a like a long piece. And I'm just going to put it all around the top. This bling wrap is amazing to use on so many different projects. And you can use it so many different ways. So I just went all the way around the top perimeter with this bling wrap. And this is the day that we were painting out in my craft room. And look at this, I've got white paint in my hair. Isn't that lovely? <laughs> so I got little bitty pieces of this bling wrap too. It was just like a couple little pieces and I stuck it right there in the middle of those stencils. And by the way, those stencils came like 10 in a pack for maybe eight bucks. They were a great buy. And I will link them in my Amazon box below or my description box so you can see all my stuff I get from Amazon. 
But see how cute you can use this bling wrap for so many different things. I took my mineral colored chalk paint from Waverly and I'm going to distress this a little bit. I do not want these beads to be shiny and blingy. So what I did was took my mineral chalk paint and actually colored them. That took all of the shine, all of the bling out of it. So it just looked like regular old beads on my planner. I wanted to use some fresh flowers this time, so I went out to my garden and look at these gorgeous knockout roses I filled this up with. I think this is beautiful. So I play around with it a little bit and get the placement just right. And you know what? I had a bright idea, but I don't know if it was that bright, okay? I took some of that bling wrap, check this out, and I put it at the top of that spigot it's supposed to resemble water coming out of the top of the spigot. I saw something like that on Pinterest where they had a watering can tilted over with little twinkle lights coming out of the spout and it's supposed to resemble the water. And I thought that was so cute. So anyways, y'all let me know in the comments below if you like it with or without the little bling at the top of the spigot. It'll show it in a second. I think I like it better without. It looked just kind of little cheesy to me. I don't know. It was just an idea. Here's the craft room. We'll show you the progress of the craft room, what we got going on. We got my floor put down, which I'm really happy with this floor. I like it. And I got my walls done. We got our lights back up here, the lights in the ceiling and the ones on the side of that wall. Um, all of these are gonna be a bunch of receptacles so I can have a lot of power. I actually bought one of these type of units. It, it's a, one that like goes in a motel. It's perfect for this size room for heating and air. Um, you can see the color that I chose. I chose a very light cream color. It's almost like a chiffon cream by Waverly type color. My ceiling's white, uh, and this is the cream color. It's called Fog Mist. And you can see the difference in the color because we haven't finished the painting right, because we sprayed the wall with a, with a, like a paint sprayer. So up here, you can see the white at the very, very top, and then you can just see the very subtle difference. Um, I chose to do knockdown. I love knockdown walls and knockdown ceiling. Um, you know, if, in case y'all don't know, knockdown is just the, you know, the look of it. It's not a flat wall, it's the textured wall, which is gorgeous with any kind of paint. 
So my desk is gonna go right there and I will be sitting right here. When the fence line's cleared off, you can see there's a big, huge uh, field, like meadow out here where we have a pond at the end, way back at the end. So we have a ton of deer and wild turkey that's always out here. Just, this is a fence actually. So when we clear this fence line, I'll be able to sit here and see it. And up here, we're gonna put two sconces that's gonna be like old timey antique looking, you know, come down. My desk is gonna go right here, actually from like right here over. And then down here is all gonna be desk. Uh, this is gonna be the area where I'm going to do my pictures right here. Um, so like when I finish my projects for y'all to show them, like to show them off or whatever, take my pictures. Right here is going to be all storage, 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 storage. And I've got five windows in here, which I'm very happy with. I like that it's got a lot of windows. I've got the two windows here. And when I look out, I can see the pool, which I love that. And um, like these windows here, I just love. But anyway, so that's my craft room so far. I should be moving in in a few days. I'm really happy with this and I'll see y'all soon. We're here again, guys, at the end of the video. I always dislike this part because I don't feel like I get to spend enough time with y'all. Hey, I hope that y'all had some good laughs and got some good ideas from this video. I thank each and every one of you for being here from the bottom of my heart. I love y'all, and congratulations, Miss Nancy. I'll see y'all soon.